And so the three of us uh, report to essentially the, the president of the, the business that we started. Um, she came in on, on August 1st. Um, so no, September 1st. Um, no, it was, she wasn't there then. It was, it was the middle of, probably the middle of September. Um, and yeah. then she came in. Um, but, uh, um, but so, yeah, so there was the strategy. I mean, we have certain financial growth targets and I mean, we, as you can tell, we, we moved really fast this year. Yeah, that's um, and we're going to double, we'll double in size next year. Um, and go from 3 million to probably closer to, Eight to ten wow. next year. Um, so the uh, the struggle we have is having the systems needed to support the growth. When you have a rapid, so you start with scratch from scratch, right? And you don't have a you can't just go out on to the you know over to Walmart, or Kmart, or the mall, or service your or the what was it uh circuit city and buy software um <laughs> yeah. to run a mobile tire and service business right you pretty much started from scratch um and so <clears throat> you can most of the players in this market they just they they have their own they have their own software they buy their own software they they run it you know out of a shoebox and they stay small if they yeah. get big, it's because they built their software. Um, well, we got big, we bought a software. So we bought a software that did part of our system or, or supported part of our operation. Um, and then we built with developers, we, we built out the, uh, the application to do more. Yeah. Problem is <laughs> when you grow really fast, um, yeah. it's expensive to build software and um, and so we end up doing a lot of manual processes. So we do the basic level of software um, and a lot of times that means you have manual processes that support it. So think of it as um, you need a car or you need to get from point A to point B, yeah. right? And you have to get there in a um short amount of time so bicycle is too slow right so you end up and you get a scooter right it's not a car right it's not a pickup truck it's not a um a bmw but it'll still get you there right so that's essentially what we have right now and the problem is we're growing so fast it's almost as if the commute that you need to get from point a to point b is extending every day and oh, so your scooter it. can still get you there but it's it wears it down yeah. very fast and it's slower and slower to get you from point a to point b so yeah. <clears throat> so that's really the pain uh right now about our growth is that we have to grow we have we are being funded to grow um from an operational standpoint but the system side is is very slow yeah. Um, let's see. How would you describe your risk taking? Do you feel a need to play it safe when it comes to your business and avoid failure, or are you comfortable taking risks? Um, we do pretty good with risk. Yeah. As in, like. Bridgestone is pretty historically is pretty risk averse, but with the business that we started with Firestone Direct, um, I'd say we, we take a lot of risks. Um, oh, really? That Bridge, Bridgestone typically wouldn't have taken. Yeah, with, <coughs> with the, I mean, gosh, we spent upwards of, gosh, probably $6 million over the past 12 months. Um, in our business, 